Welcome to Unit 19, Omniverse Enterprise Launcher Deployment. This unit details the delivery mechanism for applications, connectors, and utilities into the platform. Let's begin with an outline of the unit. In this unit, we cover an overview of the Enterprise Launcher, an examination of the Enterprise Launcher workflow, Enterprise Launcher deployment options, review of the Enterprise Launcher prerequisites, Enterprise Launcher deployment, and installation of your first application through the Enterprise Launcher. Let's examine the objectives for this unit. After completing this unit, you should be able to summarize the Enterprise Launcher. What is it? How does it work? Outline the Enterprise Launcher workflow. List the various deployment options for the Enterprise Launcher. Examine Enterprise Launcher prerequisites based on the target operating system. Take part in the deployment of the Enterprise Launcher on supported platforms. Demonstrate deployment of your first application through the Enterprise Launcher. We have a lot to cover, so let's get started. Some enterprises will not allow a user to download and install an application without it first being vetted by IT. Some enterprises are air-gapped, so a user can't access Omniverse packages that are in the workstation launcher. To accommodate these use cases, we provide the Enterprise Launcher where an Omniverse system admin can pull the installation packages for applications, tools, and connectors from the Enterprise Launcher portal and then distribute and install the applications on the end-user workstations. The Enterprise Launcher can be deployed on either Windows or Linux. Now that you have a general understanding of the Enterprise Launcher and its purpose, let's explore an overview of the workflow it facilitates. The Enterprise Launcher needs to have applications installed by the Omniverse System Admin before they appear in the Library tab. We'll go through the step-by-step -step process later in the training. The biggest change in comparison to the Workstation Launcher is that there is no Exchange tab to install a package. The first time you run the launcher, it's empty. To configure the launcher, the Omniverse System Admin logs into the NVIDIA Enterprise Launcher portal and downloads the latest applications. The Omniverse System Admin then pushes the applications to the local workstation using their preferred management tools. The application, connector, or tool is installed on the end-user workstation. After installation, the application appears in the Enterprise Launcher Library tab. Now that you have a general understanding of the Enterprise Launcher workflow, Let's deep dive into deployment options. Recall that the Enterprise Launcher can be deployed on either Windows or Ubuntu Linux. Let's start with a high-level overview of the installation workflow for the Omniverse Enterprise Launcher. You first need to access the NVIDIA Enterprise Application Hub portal. Then, you download the Enterprise Launcher for either Linux or Windows. Next, you create the required directory structure to host the launcher. Then, you edit the Omniverse TOML file and add their directory structure that you created in the previous step. Next, you start the Enterprise Launcher. Then, add needed applications to the Enterprise Launcher. Lastly, verify the successful install and setup. Let's examine the Enterprise Launcher prerequisites. For the Windows installation, it's assumed that you have a supported driver, such as 471.11 or greater, and you're running on an RTX GPU. It's also assumed that you're running on a supported version of Windows, and you've already created a developer account. The first thing you need to do is obtain an NVIDIA Enterprise account if you don't have one already. If you have an evaluation account, you must register for an NVIDIA Enterprise account in order to access your purchased licenses. Armed with your NVIDIA Enterprise account credentials, access the NVIDIA Application Hub. After login, the NVIDIA Application Hub Services page opens. Access the NVIDIA Licensing Portal by clicking NVIDIA Licensing Portal. The NVIDIA Licensing Dashboard page opens. For your reference, the visuals on the screen depict the steps taken. Now that you're in the NVIDIA licensing portal, let's start the next task, which is downloading the Enterprise Launcher software. To access the Omniverse Enterprise software from the left navigation, click Software Downloads. The Software Downloads page opens. From the Product Family filter, select Omniverse Enterprise. 
the view updates and displays the Omniverse install artifacts. Next, locate the NVIDIA Omniverse Enterprise Launcher for Windows and click Download. To accept the license terms and download, click Agree and Download. Now that you've downloaded the Enterprise Launcher to your Windows host, let's move on to the next task, which is creating the required directory structure for the launcher. Before running the installer, the Omniverse system administrators need to create the following folders in their user profile. NVIDIA Omniverse and NVIDIA Omniverse Config. For example, C, Users, Username, NVIDIA Omniverse, Config. To open the User Profile folder, in the Windows search bar, type percent %user profile percent as shown in the first block. The User Profile folder opens. Next, create the two directories shown in the second block. Do not forget the dot prefix in the folder name. In the newly created config folder, create a file named omniverse.toml. Use your favorite text editor to open the toml file. For your reference, the visuals on the screen depict the steps taken. Now that the folder structure is in place, the next step is to configure the toml file. With Omniverse toml open, paste the information from the first block into the file. Adjust the drives and paths according to your environment as what's shown is merely an example. Next, save the file. For your reference, the visuals on the screen depict the steps taken. Now that you've set up the toml file and added the folder structure to it, it's time to run the Enterprise Launcher for Windows. To begin the installation, locate and double-click the installer file you downloaded earlier. Accept the license agreement. The installation begins. The Enterprise Launcher starts, but no applications are installed yet. Lastly, download the Omniverse apps you require. The apps are packaged as zip files. Do not extract them. Now that you have installed and started the Enterprise Launcher, Let's download your first app. Now you're ready to add applications to the Enterprise Launcher. To install an application in Enterprise Launcher, the Omniverse System Administrator must download an Enterprise package from the Enterprise Exchange portal. To do so, log in to Launcher Enterprise Portal with the Login button on the top right-hand side of the screen and select the package you want to download by clicking on it as shown on the screen. In this walkthrough, you select Create. Now that the application package is downloaded, the next task is to register the application with the Enterprise Launcher. Do not unzip the file, as you're going to register it with the Enterprise Launcher. This can be done through a command prompt through PowerShell. You can also script it. In this example, you use the Windows command prompt. First, open the command prompt as an administrator. To install the application, run the command in the second block. Make sure to adjust the path and file name to match your environment. Now that you've started the installation, let's monitor the installation progress and validate the application. The command on the previous slide started the installation of the package. Next, monitor the installation progress via the status bar at the top of the Enterprise Launcher. When the installation is completed, the package will appear in the library and you'll receive a notification at the top right-hand side of the screen indicating that the package has been installed. Lastly, from the launcher, navigate to the library view, select the Create Application, and click Launch. Congratulations, you've installed your first app using the Enterprise Launcher. It's important to note that while you installed the Create Application, the process is the same for any application. Let's start with a high-level overview of the installation workflow for the Omniverse Enterprise Launcher. You first need to access the NVIDIA Enterprise Application Hub portal. Then, you download the Enterprise Launcher for either Linux or Windows. Next, you create the required directory structure to host the launcher. Afterwards, edit the omniverse.toml file and add the directory structure you created in the previous step. Next you start the Enterprise Launcher. Then, add needed applications to the Enterprise Launcher. Lastly, verify the successful install and setup. Let's examine the Enterprise Launcher prerequisites. As you plan your deployment of the Enterprise Launcher for Linux, make sure that these prerequisites have been met. 
an RTX or Ampere graphics capable GPU has been installed. Ensure you have a supported NVIDIA driver of version 460.67 or greater. Use Ubuntu 18.04 or 20.04 for the operating system. You must also have an NVIDIA developer account. Now that you understand the Enterprise Launcher prerequisites, let's deep dive into each of these steps. The first thing you need to do is obtain an NVIDIA Enterprise account if you don't have one already. If you happen to have an evaluation account, you must register for an NVIDIA Enterprise account in order to access your purchased licenses. Armed with your NVIDIA Enterprise account credentials, access the NVIDIA Application Hub. After login, the NVIDIA Application Hub Services page opens. Access the NVIDIA Licensing Portal by clicking NVIDIA Licensing Portal. The NVIDIA Licensing Dashboard page opens. For your reference, the visuals on the screen depict the steps taken. Now that you're in the NVIDIA Licensing Portal, the next task is to download the Enterprise Launcher software. Access the Omniverse Enterprise software. From the left navigation, click Software Downloads. The Software Downloads page opens. From the Product Family filter, select Omniverse Enterprise. The view updates and displays the Omniverse install artifacts. Next, locate the NVIDIA Omniverse Enterprise Launcher for Linux and click Download. To accept the license terms and download the launcher, click Agree and Download. Now that you've downloaded the Enterprise Launcher to your Linux host, let's move on to the next task, which is creating the required directory structure for the launcher. Just like Enterprise Nucleus Server, the Enterprise Launcher needs a directory structure to store its data. After opening a terminal session, create the Omniverse directory structure under your user's home directory by running the commands in the first block. Next, create the required cache, data, and library subdirectories using the commands in the second block. For your reference, examples of the steps are shown on the screen. Note that although these additional folders can reside under the user's home directory, due to potential capacity and resiliency constraints of the local disk, they can also be placed in other directories based on your IT department's best practices. Now that the directory structure is in place, the next step is to configure the TOML file. There must be an omniverse.toml file created in the NVIDIA Omniverse config directory. This enables you to point the launcher to the paths you previously created. First, use Nano or your preferred text editor to create the Omniverse TOML with these series of commands in the first block. In this walkthrough, we're using Nano as the text editor. For your reference, an example of the series of steps are shown on the screen. Keep in mind the paths on the screen are only examples. Use the most appropriate directory paths for your organization. The important thing is that they exist and are valid in the Omniverse TOML file. Remember to save and exit the TOML file when finished. Click Control O and Control X. Now that you've created the TOML file and added the directory structure to it, it's time to run the Enterprise Launcher for Ubuntu. Before you can start the Enterprise Launcher, you need to make the file executable. This can be done using the chmod775 command shown in the first block. You're now ready to start the Enterprise Launcher by running the command shown in the second block. Keep in mind you will not see the applications yet. Adding applications to the Enterprise Launcher is shown in the next slide. For your reference, the visuals on the screen depict the steps taken. Now that you've successfully deployed the Enterprise Launcher, the next step is to install some applications. Now you're ready to add applications to the Enterprise Launcher. To install an application in Enterprise Launcher, the Omniverse System Administrator must download an Enterprise package from Launcher Enterprise Portal. To do so, log in to Launcher Enterprise Portal using the Login button at the top right-hand side of the screen and select the package you want to download by clicking on it as shown on the screen. In this walkthrough, you select Create. For your reference, the on-screen visuals on the screen depict the steps taken. Let's complete the download workflow in the next slide. To complete the download of the Create app, select the version of the package, if you need an older version, from the Version drop-down menu. 
Then, click Download and select Linux from the drop-down menu. Leave the file in zip format. Either transfer the package to the user's machine or host it on a local network. Once that's done, the package can be pushed to the launcher by opening a custom protocol on the end user's machine. Lastly, the command shown in the third block installs the Create Application package. Please note that the example on the screen is just an example. You'll want to change the user directory name as needed. For your reference, the visuals on the screen depict the steps taken. Now that you've started the installation of the Create Application, the next step is to validate that the application was successfully installed and shows up in the Enterprise Launcher. The command on the previous slide started the installation of the package. Next, monitor the installation progress via the status bar at the top of the Enterprise Launcher. When the installation is completed, the package will appear in the library. You'll receive a notification at the top right-hand side of the screen that the package has been installed. Congratulations, you've installed your first app using the Enterprise Launcher. It's important to note that while you installed the Create application, the process is the same for any application. Now that you understand how to deploy the Enterprise Launcher on either Windows or Ubuntu, let's review the objectives for this unit. Now that you've completed this unit, you should be able to summarize the Enterprise Launcher. What is it? How does it work? Outline the Enterprise Launcher workflow. List the various deployment options for the Enterprise Launcher. Examine Enterprise Launcher prerequisites based on target operating system. Take part in the deployment of Enterprise Launcher on supported platforms. Demonstrate deployment of your first application through the Enterprise Launcher. Let's review what's next on your Omniverse Enterprise deployment journey. Great job so far, don't stop now. Next up on your journey through the Omniverse Enterprise deployment section is Omniverse Nucleus Cache Server Deployment, which details the deployment of a Nucleus Cache Server to optimize the user experience with the platform. See you in the next unit.